Hey guys, Razor McKenzie here, otherwise known as Kenzie Red Show, but that may not be the case for much longer. Where do we even begin with this? Two words. Article 13. This is a very serious matter, folks. Just having a look at some of these articles and you just got to think to yourself, oh boy. Now, what is what is Article Thirteen? Oh, here we go. I know it's Wikipedia. I know, but it's the simplest way I can summarize this before going into a bit more detail. It's part of the Directive on Copyright in the Digital Single Market. Now, here we go. Article 13 replaces the mere conduit exemption from the copyright infringement from for-profit online content sharing service providers with a new conditional exemption to liability. These conditions are the implementation of effective and proportionate measures to prevent the availability of specific unlicensed works identified by right holders acting expenditurously to remove them and demonstrating that best efforts have been made to prevent their future liability. The article also extends any licenses granted to those granted to content hosts to their users, as long as the, those users are not acting on a commercial basis, which does not make any sense. Here we go. The article directs members states to consider the size of the provider, the, the amount of content uploaded, and the effectiveness of the measures imposed. In light of technological developments, it also mandates an appeal process and requires hosts to share information on the use of content with its owners, the lack of which has been a point of contention in the past. This is the key bit. This is the key bit to take in, keep in mind, folks. This is the key bit to remember. 
Article 13 has faced widespread criticism over the possibility that it could create a chilling effect on online expression. Although the article requires only best efforts from providers, it is widely accepted by critics and proponents alike that in order to meet the requirement of preventing future availability, larger companies would need to implement content matching technology similar to YouTube's content ID system. Creators emphasize the issue of false positives within such systems and their inability to account for copyright limitations such as fair dealing, leading, they allege, to a meme ban. Supporters and third parties point out that YouTube has used Content ID for a decade and yet remains a successful host for content of all kinds. Yet YouTube CEO expressed concerns expressed concerns the new legislation could shut down the ability of millions of people to upload to YouTube. Other claims from critics include suggestions that all content providers will be forced to use expensive content filters that only major US technology firms had sufficient resources to develop such systems and that outsourcing the task has privacy implications. Coverage on this, here we go. Article 13 provisions target commercial web hosts which store and give public access to a large amount of works or, or other subject matter uploaded by its users which they organize and promote for profit making purposes. The proposal makes explicit that this does not include private cloud storage services, non-profit encyclopedias, such as Wikipedia, non-profit educational or scientific repositories, nor a variety of other cases. The article's provisions do not apply to all commercial content hosts equally. The proposal explains that small and micro enterprises should only be expected to expedite expeditiously remove specific unauthorized works and other subject matter upon notification by right holders and that different measures may be appropriate for propor proportionate per type of content small and micro are defined in the type in title one of the annex two com commission recommendation 2003 slash 361 slash ec as of june 2018 this covers businesses with less than 50 employees and less than 10 million of on their annual turnover or annual balance sheet. Article 13b requires websites which automatically reproduce or refer to significant amounts of copyright protected visual works to conclude fair and balanced licensing agreements with any requesting right holders. Essentially, it's not good because just reading that makes no sense to me whatsoever. So let's see what happens. Um, how do I go about this? Basically, the stuff that I've been doing on my channel, just like that, gone. Just to give you an outline of the content that I put out on this channel. Are you ready? Here we go. Throwback Thursdays, gone. Music covers, gone. Rocket League, gone. Formula One, gone. Re reactions, gone. Reviews, gone. Unless I don't use anything whatsoever and it's just me talking like this. Playthroughs gone, reactions gone, reviews gone, cinema sins gone, Matt Pat's game theory gone, PewDiePie gone. And in my case, two of the most popular series on this channel since I started them, taking the cinema sins formula, formula, applying it to Tom and Jerry, gone. Apprentice, gone. Walking Dead reactions, gone. Everything I've done on this channel. I might not even be able to do my podcast anymore. This is how bad this has become. This doesn't just affect me. This affects everyone. 
This affects everyone, not just here in the UK, not just across Europe, but across the entire world. Any content on a channel outside of Europe, I will no longer be able to watch, worst case scenario, by the end of the year. And any content here in Europe, it can't go outside of Europe. And I would need permission from the EU themselves to do F1 2018, to do my F1 career mode, to do my podcast, to do everything wrong with The Apprentice, to do everything wrong with Tommy J, to do my reactions, to do my reviews, to do my playlists, to do anything on this platform. I only just got this channel, I only got, I only just restarted back in February and I'm nearly at 60 subscribers. All that work, at least one video a day, on average. I've got over 300 plus videos on my channel. Gone. All because of Article 13. And I thought the net neutrality system law, and I thought the net neutrality controversy last year was bad. This is worse. The UK is in the middle of Brexit negotiations right now. This is the last thing we need to be worried about. We need to save our internet again, folks. We managed to stop net neutrality being revoked last year. We need to do the same with Article 13. We can't let this go through. People make a living off of YouTube. And people like me use this as something something to do in my spare time. I'm going to need something else to do. I can't just sit about watching TV or playing games all day. When I've got nothing to show for it. I'm going to have nothing to show for my work. I'm not going to be able to show you playing these games. I'm not going to be able to show you my reactions to trailers. I'm not going to be able to upload anything without permission from the European Union themselves. This is how bad this has become. As if people like me don't already have enough to deal with. And like I said, my music covers, gone. I'm not going to be able to do anything on this platform. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to an online petition that is going to be instrumental and crucial to our fight against Article 13. We fought against net neutrality and we succeeded. We are going to make sure that we win this fight against Article 13. We win this fight. It's business as usual. That's why it's very important for me to get everything done by the end of the year. And I've only got a few weeks. I've only got like, th- I've only got three weeks until Christmas. And I've got Rocket League to, f- I've got the group stage of the Rocket League Champions League to complete. I've got, I've got the mid, I've got the first half of the Walking Dead reactions to finish. I've got Throwback Thursdays for Spider-Man to finish. I've got some music covers to do before Christmas. There's not really much else to say now. All my hard work 
is going to be gone if we don't fight against this. I hope you guys take the time to sign the petition and fight against Article 13. Fight against Article 13. Save your internet. I'll see you guys later.